Thanks to Hollywood, sharks are feared around the world, but fascinating new research finds tonight, humans are the real killers. The groundbreaking study says fishing and climate change are behind lower numbers of sharks in many areas. But, and this is something no one in the Southland likely wanted to hear. That's not so much the case here. KKL 9's Hermela Aragawi has more. And this was a, a huge, huge endeavor. It's the most comprehensive study on the world's shark population ever. Scientists spent four years studying 400 known shark habitats around the world, 58 countries in all. They stuck a cage like this with bait on one end and a camera at the other and dropped it onto the ocean floor for an hour to see how many sharks show up. So because they did it over multiple years, they were able to document changes in shark populations over time at, at all these locations. The study found some regions in the world appear to not have any sharks at all. Researchers didn't observe sharks in 20% of the areas they studied. The reason, sharks are often caught up in commercial fishing nets and also hunted for their fins considered a delicacy in Asia. Climate change is also a big reason. Their food supply is shifting. So they are really important for keeping certain populations healthy. The historic research also provides some hope. It shows that conservation measures work. In areas where destructive fishing practices are banned, the shark population is healthy. There are tools that work, like marine protected areas we know can work. Banning the use of gill nets in certain areas we know can work. Um, regulating fisheries and managing them better, we know can work. And whether you like this or not, California is one of those places. The shark population here is thriving. This is new video tonight from the Cal State Long Beach Shark Lab, one of the state's premier academic centers for studying shark behavior. A year of drone video shows they're thriving. California has actually done a really good job, I think, of managing many of its fisheries. We've seen shark populations decline back in the 60s through the mid 90s and then through a series of better fisheries management practices, we've been able to better protect many of the populations that were being harvested. Lowe also says sharks are mobile and adaptable, so with just some focused effort, it's possible to revive their populations in areas where they are down. Hermel Aragawi, KCAL 9 News.